To put it simply, Balancer is an Ethereum-based application, specifically a decentralized exchange that utilizes a special trading algorithm called an automated market maker that allows traders to swap their crypto tokens in a very efficient way. If that sounded like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, don't worry, I'm going to explain all of this throughout the rest of the video. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that even your grandpa could understand them. In this video, we are going to be explaining what Balancer is, how it works, and what their automated portfolio manager, or as I call it, a create your own index fund, idea is. Let's dig in. In the world of DeFi and cryptocurrencies, we don't use the old method of making trades. This old method is called an order book model, where a buyer and seller write down whatever they want to trade with, and then it gets added to a huge list of everyone else's trades. This list is called an order book. Essentially, you pick what price you want to buy or sell at, but you can't be guaranteed when the trade will happen, if at all, because you have to wait around for someone else to match with your trade. If you don't want to wait around at all, you can look at someone else's trade offer and go ahead and accept it. This way, the other person gets to trade at the price they want, and you get a trade at the time that you want. Either way, you either get to select the price or the time of the trade not both. Now, there is a newer solution that is much better and it doesn't rely on humans, but instead, algorithms. This method is called an automated market maker. It'll never run out of assets to sell you. The way an automated market maker works is quite complicated, but we're going to try to simplify it for you in this video. First, a pool of money must be created. This pool of money contains two or more assets that someone supplies willingly so that other people can use that pool to trade with. The way the trading happens is all automatic with an algorithm. Now the algorithm is very simple and it follows this equation, x times y equals k. Without getting too much into the math of it, and we actually have an entire video diving deep into the math of it, which I'll link down in the description below, the way this algorithm works is actually quite simple. As you buy more of one asset, the algorithm automatically charges you more and more to keep buying that asset. So even if you have a trillion dollars to trade with, the pool will never run out of either asset to sell you because it'll keep charging you an infinitely higher price. Another way to think about it, and this way might be better, is that you approach the pool with what you want to sell, and it will tell you how much it can give you based on its algorithm. For example, let's use a pool of Ethereum and USDC. If you go to the pool and you say you want to buy $1 worth of Ethereum, it might sell you some Ethereum at an average price of $4,000. However, if you go to the same pool and you buy $10 worth of Ethereum, it'll charge you a higher average price of $4,008. Once more, if you go to the pool with $100, it may charge you an average price of $4,100 per Ethereum. And finally, if you approach the pool with a million dollars, it may charge you an infinitely high amount of USDC to buy that Ethereum. But the trick here is that the pool will never run out of Ethereum to sell you. It'll just keep charging you a higher portion. Now, since you interacted with the pool and raised the price of the Ethereum in that pool, other people are going to come along and sell their Ethereum to that pool at a higher price, basically giving the pool back more Ethereum, but also taking some USDC. And this is a liquidity pool rebalancing feature. Liquidity pools and automated market makers are quite complicated when you're first understanding them. So I highly recommend watching our specific videos on those topics if you haven't already. But this chart right here is a game changer. See this curve? It's the X times Y equals K formula. You can think about any purchase using the liquidity pool with this curve. If you give the pool this much of asset A, it will return you with this much of asset B. The same goes for if you give it this much of asset A, it's going to barely give you any asset B. And finally, if you give it a ton of asset A, even if there's a plenty of asset B in the normal curve range, it won't give you much. Now we've gotten this far into the video about Balancer and haven't even talked about Balancer yet. In fact, everything I've talked about up to this point is applicable to how many other popular decentralized exchanges work, including Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and SushiSwap. So, what makes Balancer better? Well, with Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and SushiSwap, you can only deposit two assets. In the very beginning of this technology, each of these pools had to also contain Ethereum. 
So you could have a USDC slash ETH pool and a BAL token ETH pool. And to get from USDC to BAL token, you'd have to make two different swaps. Eventually, the developers got fancy and realized they could allow users to set up any pool they wanted. So something like a USDC slash BAL token pool was possible. Even more so, they realized they could hook up a ton of these pools together automatically so anyone can trade from one token in one pool to any other token in another pool at ease. And this is technically called routing. Here's the cool thing that Balancer does. They take this one step further. Instead of just letting you deposit two assets into a pool, they let you add up to eight different assets in a liquidity pool. Now the math behind these multi-asset pools is called weighted math, and it is designed to allow for swaps between any asset, whether or not they even have a price correlation. Prices are determined by the pool's balances, pool's weights, and the amount of the tokens that are being swapped. This might get a little more technical, but Balancer's weighted math equation is a generalization of the x times y equals k constant product formula outlined in the beginning of this video. But accounting for cases with more than two tokens as well as weightings that are not an even 50-50 split. Next up, they actually have something called a portfolio manager, which I call a crypto index fund. Now one of the most interesting things that these multi-asset pools allow us to do is to create a synthetic index fund of crypto tokens that will automatically manage itself and rebalance itself as needed. So you can easily create your own pool of four or five assets that you want to hold long term and then let people use that pool to trade with. There are actually two things that I forgot to mention about how automated market makers work earlier. And the first is that simply by letting other people trade with your funds to make swaps, you will actually earn money. How? Well, when you first set up the initial pool of assets, you decide on what fee the trader should pay for using your liquidity pool. Because hey, they're using your money. Now this fee is usually very low, but when a ton of traders use a ton of money every day for a year, it can really add up. So this means your crypto index fund will technically earn somewhat as a dividend as other traders use it to rebalance their prices. The other thing that I technically forgot to mention is a scary term for new investors called impermanent loss. Now I don't have time to explain how impermanent loss works in this video, and I actually already have an entire video explaining it that's been made really helpful to beginners. However, that video specifically does not talk about impermanent loss when there are more than two assets, and I know you would love to learn about that. So hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and you'll be notified whenever I create and upload that video. Moving on, let's talk about another feature that Balancer has. They allow you to create pools with customized weights. So all of the Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and SushiSwap pools are weighted 50-50, exactly half and half. Even the ATRI crypto pool that's found on Curve Finance, used by thousands of people, has three assets, but it's only divided into equal thirds. Balancer lets you create your own pools with custom ratios. So I could set up an 80%, 20% one, a 10, 10, 10, 70 one, or even a 95%, 5% pool. This allows even more customization when it comes to setting up your own little index fund pool. And you might be wondering how this affects in permanent loss, because pools with strong assets having a higher percentage usually result in less in permanent loss. Here's a nice little chart where you can see how common ratios affect in permanent loss. The trade-off for this impermanent loss is usually a higher slippage amount for traders, essentially the result of less liquidity for the tokens with less weight. One more amazing thing that Balancer has is something called liquidity bootstrapping pools. And basically what this means is they allow automatic rebalancing of certain assets. So usually all assets are 50-50 or 25-25-25-25 or any of the custom ratios that I talked about earlier. However, Balancer has another pool type called a liquidity bootstrapping pool, which is a pool primarily used for newly created tokens or projects. The idea is that they generally start a pool with 10% of a highly liquid or trusted coin and then 90% of a new project's coin. The project will also select an ending weight, typically 50-50. And one of the last primary steps is to set a specific time frame to run the liquidity bootstrapping pool. It could be days, weeks, or even months. And once the pool begins, the ratio of assets will change over that specified time period. So basically it'll start off at 90-10 and then end up with 50-50. And basically this means that the price of the project's new coin starts high and then will drop until there are new buyers. This allows the market to find the appropriate price and seeks to weed out front running, which allows for a more fair price model. Again, the math behind this and impermanent loss calculations are quite complicated. But what it means for you is that you can purchase new tokens with a more fair opportunity for all investors.
Liquidity bootstrapping pools are actually one of the most successful, if not the most successful way to launch a new token. Personally, I'm actually planning on making an entire video on how these liquidity bootstrapping pools work soon, including a few other fair launch mechanics that would be really fun to explain, so keep your eyes open for that. Lastly, let's get into Balancer's tokenomics. So Balancer has recently moved to a few different networks other than just Ethereum. Balancer V2 contracts were first launched on the Ethereum mainnet on April 20, 2021. And then the actual website and user interface were launched on May 11th. The Polygon contracts were launched on July 1st, and then Arbitrum on August 31st. In fact, there's already a fork of Balancer V2 on the Phantom network too. The maximum supply of Balancer tokens is 100 million. Around 35 million of these tokens were minted at launch, and the remaining 65 million can be distributed to liquidity providers, however, the ultimate amount of these tokens is completely up to balancer holders by proposing suggestions and then voting on them in a DAO style. The Balancer token was actually one of the very first governments token in the whole wide world of DeFi, and right now that's exactly what they're used for, governance. But they are working on native staking contracts right now. Until then, you can actually deposit balancer tokens in a few different pools across a few different chains to earn more balancer tokens. The last thing I want to mention is their grants program. Now the balancer team also has a grants program where developers can apply for funds to further the project's goals. In fact, this video and the next two videos on this channel about the balancer platform and functionalities are created with the help of a grant that they approved for Whiteboard Crypto. So wrapping this video up, I want to thank the balancer grant team for approving that grant and helping me with the script. And I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope that maybe you've learned something. And most of all, I hope to see you in our next video.